Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. We give honor, glory, and adoration to our God. We may great his name this morning. From the rising of the sun to the going down of it, his name shall always be great. We praise him. We exalt him. We lift up his name above all, above everything. Heavenly Father, we worship you this morning. We praise you. We celebrate your faithfulness, your goodness. It extends to the highest heavens. Take glory this morning. Take honor this morning. Take praise this morning. Take adoration this morning. Bless your people. Let your name be glorified. Father, let your hand be stretched. Let the victory come. Let the favor come. Let the testimony come. Tabo kuso ba kati kato shadi da barami talum bradesh kayandere batala. We praise you today. We celebrate your goodness in Jesus' name. I'd like to welcome all those who are joining us this morning. We trust the Lord that you will be blessed, and you will experience the grace of God. The hand of God will touch you in Jesus' name. Welcome you from the four corners of the earth today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I believe you had a good morning, a good night, and you are having a good morning. Don't just be a morning glow. Please, please, please turn your desire to see other people blessed on. Take your phone. Send the link to 10 people at least. Let them be able to connect with us this morning. Let them encounter God. Let them encounter his power. Let them encounter his grace in the name of Jesus. So welcome you today from wherever you have joined in Jesus' name. Millennium City in Kaswa, Ghana, God bless you. Tripoli in Libya, blessings on you. Camberwell in the United Kingdom, blessings in Jesus' name. May you be highly favored today and may you be lifted in Jesus' name. Abu Delta, Nigeria, blessings. Ngong Hills in Kenya, God bless you richly. Estewani, Eswatini, I beg your pardon. Eswatini, that's a new name for Swaziland. Blessings on you today, Jesus' name. Pretoria, South Africa, blessings. Lusaka, Zambia, blessings. May you be richly, richly blessed today and highly favored. May you be lifted beyond measure. Stratford in London, the Lord bless you richly. In Jesus' name. Keonde Barongaji Tabojana Kibrindo Rose Teleba. Riku Rambre Toji Name Brados and Deare Keko Sotoya. Taka in Kenya. Tika in Kenya, God bless you richly this morning. Uh, Abidjan in Ivory Coast, the Lord bless you richly. Jesus in Hackney in London, blessings. May you be highly favored. Enfield Lock in London, blessings. Togo Lome, blessings. Clapton in London, blessings today. Vincenza in Italy. Pronto, blessings, KICC, Maryland, Lagos, God bless you richly, Jesus' name. Satellite Town, Lagos, blessings on you. Jano Zikia, Stanwell in Stains, blessings, blessings. Warwickshire, blessings, Edmonton in London, blessings. Clapton, blessings. Grunau in Germany, the Lord bless you richly today. Sudden and sorry, be blessed. Nali Roko Zi Brota Ye Kalendo Brondeshinda Kiri Borondere Kara Doro Zandari Rosha. Sudden and sorry, may you be blessed today, may you be highly favored, may you be lifted and victorious in the name of Jesus. Woodford Green in Essex, be blessed. Waltham Cross, be blessed. K2 Lagos, Nigeria, be blessed. May you be lifted today. Botswana, uh, in Jesus' name, may you be blessed in Botswana. 
Mumbai in India. The Lord bless you this morning. Bromley in Lucian, be blessed. Uh, New London Estate in Lagos, Nigeria. God bless you. Austin, Texas. Ipswich in Suffolk. Bedfordshire. Medina in Ghana. God bless you. Richly. Na bo zoro zeki kiki kuzo tara talere na mosha yeninge rombra di jene remosa sanedesha. May you be blessed today. May you be lifted today. May you be victorious today. May you be above only today in the name of Jesus. Male kundresh. Pleasant in California. Be blessed. Today, in Jesus' name, Eramoya. Jamaica, St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, be blessed this morning. In the name of Jesus, praise the Lord. New Moston in Manchester, blessings on you today. May you be favored and may you be lifted. In the name of Jesus. Riboka yenendorosha ye ba ke koje kende rojale e brozi ri 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 rosha in jesus name may today be a day of favor a day of blessing in jesus name wherever you've joined from may you experience grace in jesus name Pray. Hello in Essex. Be blessed today. Those who are on uh, Instagram, let us know where you have joined from. Dagnam in Essex, blessings. South Bank in London, blessings. Edgeware, blessings. Custom House, blessings. Yendorosha, Logien in France. God bless you richly. Harel, Harel Beck. In Belgium, God bless you richly. Beaver Creek, Ohio. Be blessed, be favored, be lifted today. Be victorious and above only in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. God bless you today. Praise the Lord. Ilford, blessings on you. In the name of the Lord, Colchester, God bless you richly, in Jesus' name. Uh, Crete, in Greece, ah, the Lord bless you where you are in Greece. May you be blessed, may you be highly favored, in the name of Jesus. Ashford in Kent. The Lord bless you this morning. A.K. Kosha. Haget. Haget in Brussels. The Lord bless you. Lilongwe in Malawi. Be blessed and highly favored this morning. Nayedi Jene Kabor not Naniskita Larava. And Tebe in Uganda. Blessings. Blessings. Feltum. In the in Middlesex, blessings. Kwabinya in Accra, Ghana. God bless you richly this morning. Warwickshire, blessing. Portsmouth, be blessed. Be highly favored. Virginia, USA. God bless you richly. Makabarotori, Nere, Neroshka, Yadavara. We'd like to celebrate. Welcome everyone who's joining us this morning. We trust the Lord that you'll be blessed. You'll be highly favored. You will live long, you will live strong, you will live victorious, you will not die, you will live to declare the glory of the Lord. If there is any spirit of death hanging, hovering over your country, over your city, over your neighborhood, it shall not see you. South Carolina, USA, be blessed and highly favored this morning. In Jesus' name, the Bible has a lot to say about living long and living strong. We believe God with you, for you, that you would live long, you will live strong. The children of Israel, part of the reasons why they died easily in the wilderness was rebellion. The Bible makes very clear that uh, they, they, they died young. 
However, there are times when somebody interceded and the hand of death was stopped. Uh, Moses interceded with God to remove the curse which made it necessary for every Israelite over 20 years of age to just die because they rebelled against God in Kadesh Barnea. Uh, so they were dying before they reached any, any, any plum age. Uh, they did not see the promised land. Numbers 14 from verse 26 to 35. So Moses began to cry to God. So that was why he was saying that, hey, it's like 70 years is the age that man has been chosen to die. That was because they were in the middle of the wilderness. This number has been mistaken by some people to be the span of years God has chosen for you. I believe God for somebody on the platform. At 70, you'll still be six strong. At 80, you'll be... You'll be bouncing. At 90, you'll be going well. And when Jacob, the father of the 12 tribes, reached 130 years, he just said, hey, he had attained the years his father's never attained. He's ready to go. That was when he left. Moses himself, who talked about 70, lived 120. Uh, Aaron, 123. Miriam did not, we don't have the number of years for Miriam. We just know that she lived several years. She was older than Aaron and Moses, and yet she lived long. Well, uh, science have shown that women tend to live longer than men. Joshua lived 110 years. I believe somebody on the altar today, contrary to every feeling you've had in your body, however they've told you, you will live long, you will live strong. Premature death is not your portion. That's what the Lord has led us in this season to prophesy. And I believe it is so cogent, it is so major to your destiny, to your life. I believe that God is not only pro making us prophesy against premature death, he's also destroying the power of illness and sickness in your body is giving you reason to live and to be a blessing to your generation in the name of Jesus. You'll be, you'll be redeemed from the curse of the Lord. Those people who lived under, uh, in those days and died 70 and below in the wilderness was because of the curse which was consequent upon what they had done. So, God will help you. You will live long in the name of Jesus. I prophesy on you this day that you will live long and you will live strong in the name of Jesus. How do you do it? Number one, we said yesterday, by the book, the B-I-B-L-E, the Bible says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall continue to abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, my Lord, my strength, in, in whom I trust. Surely he will deliver me from snares of the, of the fowler, that is bird catchers, from the noisome pestilence, from the arrows that fly. It will deliver us from the weapons of the night, the terrors of the night. The ones that fly by day, the ones that fly by, by noon. God will be your shield and your buckler. No weapon formed against you will prosper. If there's anyone on the platform this morning, as we take authority, the power of sickness is broken. The plan of Satan is canceled. The testimony of Jesus remains strong in your life. The number two way is to keep doing the will of God. As you stay in the will of God, it gives you strength, it gives you confidence, it gives you grace. Hallelujah. Because Moses kept obeying God. Deuteronomy 34, 7. And Moses was 120 years old when he died. His eyes was not dim, nor his natural force abated. Whoa. Whoa. Just as God did with Moses, God can give you a new assignment even when you think you're old. When Moses reached the age of 80, <clears throat> that was when he started the biggest assignment of his destiny. P 
picking up the children of Israel out of the hole called Egypt and taking them to the promised land. That is one of the most major assignments ever given to a human being. And Moses started it at 80. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, what do you do? Keep staying in God's will, getting involved in the things of God, witnessing soul winning, using your money to promote the preaching of the gospel, the reaching of the unreached, the saving of the unsaved. Number three, refuse to stay sick. Take the word of God, speak it to your body. You also do anything you can to stay away from ill health. In the name of Jesus, there's healing and there's health. The two, enjoy them. Enjoy healing, but above all, live in divine health. Stay in continual contact with the word, with the spirit of God. Do the right thing that your body will need. Number four, obey natural laws. What are natural laws? God didn't make your physical body to fail. He made your physical body to sustain itself with the right food, the right things. You and I are modern people. Somebody had discovered all the food we need to eat. They've already packaged it. The food, the various food, different things. And so you also ought to get into that, let your body come alive by eating the things that will sustain and help you live long. In the name of Jesus, you will live long. Don't look at your family history, which is negative. You are born of heaven now. You are part of God's family. Take the word of God and stop every unwanted arrow that killed your uncles, your cousins, your nephews, your fathers. Every demonic hereditary tendencies canceled by the blood of the Lamb. Stay in the word. Let somebody even think you are crazy but because of your love for God. The, the Solomon said in Proverbs 4, Proverbs 4 from verse 20, he said, My son, attend to my word. Incline your ears to my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes. Your ears, your eyes, keep them in the midst of your heart. They are life to them that find them, and health to all their flesh, and health to all their flesh, and health to all their flesh. Praise the Lord. And then this morning, the next one, number five, is to guard your heart. Guard your heart. In the name of Jesus, guard your heart. Guard your spiritual heart from anger, from malice, from bitterness, from anything that will cause you stress or broken spirit, people who have hurt you, let go. Betray us, let go. Just know how you relate to them in the future. Praise the Lord. Oh, glory to God. In Proverbs 4.23, Solomon said, Keep your heart with all diligence. For out of it are the forces of life, the issues of life, come from the heart. So keep and guard your heart with all diligence, with all vigilance. Protect your heart. You know somebody's likely to say things, do things, behave a certain way that hurt your spirit. Protect your heart. The wisdom of God is written down for us in his word. Protect your heart. Find wisdom. The Bible says, I appease the man that findeth wisdom and the man that geteth understanding. Proverbs 3 from verse 13. Find wisdom, get understanding. The Bible says, but the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver. And again, they are finer than gold. My, 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 my. When your life is protected and your health is good and your destiny is good, God gives you length of days. You will be living. You will be a testimony. You will, you will live strong. You will live long. You will defy the power of death. What killed your fathers will not be able to touch you. 
and God said, He said, He will fulfill the number of your days. Exodus 23, verse 25, 26. He said, He will fulfill the number of your days. I love that one. Exodus 23, 25, 26. God will fulfill the number of your days. I pray for you today. May God fulfill the number of your days. May God fulfill the number of your years. May God fulfill the number of your time on earth. In the name of Jesus, may you be a blessing. It says, and you shall serve Jehovah your God, and he will bless your bread. May your bread be blessed. And he will bless your water. May your water be blessed. And I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. This is God. He said it. He can't say what he wouldn't do. So that breaking down every day, breaking down every day is because something is not right. So I speak health into your body in the name of Jesus. They shall not cast her young nor barren in the land. Te baloza. Casting young. Casting young means early death. Have you ever been under a tree that bears fruit? When it is throwing down the fruit that is too too much too immature to eat didn't even go i mean not just that it is green it is even it doesn't reach the full it's like a shock of corn that you went to harvest and there's almost nothing on the cob that is casting young it's like a mango that is so tiny it is it is like a tiny seed that's nothing to eat it wouldn't even ripen it has, a, it has a funny way of looking, even if it tries to ripen, and a funny way to taste, because it, it fell prematurely. There will be nothing like that in your household. There shall none cast her young, nor be barren in the land. The number of your days are well fulfilled. Father, we worship you this morning. We bless you, because you are not a man. You are God. You speak. You say what you will do. Aka tunteli tate tontala janemeko mareketika brano sota le brano tali ingedish kalaba. We celebrate you this morning. We worship you this morning. We make great your name this morning. Awesome God, mighty God, powerful God. God of faithfulness, without injustice. God of greatness. God of power. God of healing. God of deliverance. We glorify you. Yano Saya, Ye Rabakoya, Ye Daborosa, Ye Labranote, Ye Kalebato, Janomba, Lerombe, Kerombra, Katombre, Taloreba, Maroloji, Makarode, Tarekebo. We bless you this morning. We thank you. The number of his days are well fulfilled. Ah, Lord, we bless you because your word cannot lie. You will give us a life of fulfillment. A life of fulfillment. A life of fulfillment. We praise you because we will see a fulfilled life. We will live a fulfilled life. No sickness among us. Uh, the, the NIV says, I will give you a full lifespan. My, 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 my. I will give you a full lifespan. Everybody on the altar this morning, I prophesy to you this season that God will give you a full lifespan. I lay hand on you, full lifespan. I speak into your body, full lifespan. I speak into your flesh, your tissues, your bones, your every part of you, full lifespan. I speak into those areas that tend to want to break you down, your bloodstream. Every blood disease. Every blood disease, every blood disease begins to dry up full lifespan. Every blood disease begins to dry up. Every blood disease begins to dry up. Every blood disease begins to dry up in the name of Jesus. Sickle cell anemia. <laughs> they say you cannot be healed, you cannot be delivered, and not if Jesus have touched you. 
I lay hand on you today. I command somebody's body. You've been told you'll not be healed. The Lord Jesus sets you free. 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 Yarababaranta. Hidiyalarabash. Yeboroka Hidarabakasha. Everyone with high blood pressure. I speak to your bloodstream. Peace be still. 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 Anyone on the platform with a low blood pressure, not high this time, but low blood pressure, hypothermia, I pray for you, hypothermia. I speak into your body. I command your health. I command your healing in the name of Jesus. Anyone who has blood clotting, dangerous, dangerous blood clotting, a tiny blood clot just this size can travel it through the arteries and block the heart. We lose your body. Ka to ske mare toshia malikeko mare do skeleriba reno drike kopranesh libra. You will live long. You will live strong. You will live long. You will live strong. In the name of Jesus said, I will fulfill his lifespan. God will give you a fulfilling lifespan. In the name of Jesus, a fulfilling lifespan. You will live until the fullness of your years. In the name of Jesus. Amplified by the message translation says, I will make sure you live full and complete lives. Full and complete. Full and complete. That is your portion. In the name of Jesus. Full and complete. Nobody, please. Yes, somebody passed on early. That's not you full and complete in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus full and complete full and complete life ke proshiniyata zali maridosha full and complete life full of glory full of grace full of favor full of testimonies full of healings full of miracles full of healings Full of miracles, full of healings, full of miracles, full of healings, full of miracles, full of healings, full and complete life. Receive, 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 receive. Ayero kote barondish. Full and complete. Nale toro nama kadi dari barosh no libi ngari ngadi zale rena chala ridi baran doro ngadi ba reera. Reja, Mande, Rosa, Rika, Toja, Libra, Nombre, Tambre, Zalonde, Talenga, full and complete life. This will be your testimony. The world will hear your story. They will celebrate with you. The world will hear what God has done for you. They will celebrate with you in the name of Jesus, full and complete life. This is what the Lord says concerning you. Nothing will change it in the name of Jesus. Ah, the uh, New Living Translation says there have been no miscarriages or infertility in your land. I will give you long, full lives. Long, full lives. Long, full lives. Anything that is threatening your life into premature death, we cancel this morning. We lose you from it. I prophesy unto your body, healing, health, any arrow coming from anywhere, we return it to the senders. Every arrow coming from some places, we return it to the sender. We declare your health. We declare your healing. We declare your health. We declare your healing. We declare your health. We declare your healing. I stand on this altar today. I declare into your life. Psalm 11 verse 7. It says, I shall not die but live to declare the works of the Lord. You will declare the works of the Lord in strength. You will declare the glory of the Lord in power. You will declare the strength of the Lord in strength. You will declare the glory of the Lord in power. Receive, receive, 
receive 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 in the name of Jesus Psalm 91 verse 16 with long life long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation this is your portion this is your portion this is your portion in the name of Jesus God will show you long life God will give you long life God will satisfy your thirst your life with long life in the name of Jesus everyone within the reach of my voice this morning I release you from the grip of premature death anyone marked marked down for demolition the devil is a liar ikotaya makateke rokekeke marukosheta marike kozo rikita lira marundereshe yenenkeruba bragish kalari rabosh kalada rabozendia narirentola rakosebita this day I declare and decree. I prophesy this morning that every grip of premature death is broken in your life in the name of Jesus. Every attempt of premature death that is made on you shall be aborted, shall be aborted. We release ministering angels, warrior angels, protection angels. Draw your sword. Fight on behalf of this people. Wherever they do not even know and a premature death has been prepared, we cancel it by the blood of the Lamb. Italosha. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Speaks your protection. Let the arrow of premature death fired into your life, into your family, back to the sender, back fire to the sender. Nanesha, Malengo, Taborosi, Rikeko, Rebo, Rambre, Shkobia, Rikesi, Ranosha, every satanic grip dug for you, dug for your household, not your portion. In the name of Jesus, not your portion. In the name of Jesus, not your portion. In the name of anyone who dug it, let them be the ones to carry it. In the name of Jesus. Today I stand on this altar, I prophesy on you, I prophesy on your life, every wicked person preparing coffins of untimely death for you to enter, you shall not see that coffin. You will not die before your time. They will not bury you before your time. In the name of Jesus. So on social media yesterday, a woman somewhere in Latin America, just as soon as they thought she had died, they quickly put her in the coffin, put her aside. Next thing they were hearing the coffin banging. They hoping only to find that she's still alive. Her heart came back. They will not bury you prematurely. They will not mistake you for the dead. You will not be in that kind of situation. In the name of Jesus, God will preserve you. God will keep you. God will preserve you. God will keep you. God will preserve you. God will keep you. God will preserve you. In the name of Jesus, 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 every door of premature death is shot against you. You will never enter the room of premature death. I speak into your life today. I prophesy upon you. God protects you this year, coming year. You live long. You live strong. I break loose from your life every hidden evil covenant. And every vow of premature death, rid every evil covenant and vow of premature death that somebody made on your behalf, or you made without knowing, or when you were young, we nullify it with the blood of Jesus. We cancel it with the blood of Jesus. Negatives you've spoken into your life, negatives you've spoken into your body, when you've said, ah, this thing is killing me, Looks like this thing will kill me. We cancel with the blood. The ones you said when you didn't mean it, we nullify with the blood. We cancel with the blood. I break and lose you free from premature death in the name of Jesus. 
where firstborns, first sons are dying in the family you came from, not your portion. Firstborns, first sons, carriers of destinies, openers of the, of, 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 of the matrix. Ah, the devil likes to mess up with firstborns. He loves to mess up with first sons because they open the matrix. They carry destiny. The enemy fights them, but not your portion. I draw the bloodline around your household. I draw the bloodline around your family. I draw the bloodline around your household. I draw the bloodline around your family. In the name of Jesus, evil thoughts, plans of the devil and his angels to harm you, to kill you. Anyone, anywhere planning. Uh, if there's anyone on this altar, they hired some assassins to look for you, they will turn the arrow on themselves. They will turn the arrow on themselves. They will fight each other, turn the arrow on themselves, fight each other. Haka, in the name of Jesus. Any place you find yourself, enemy planning to touch your life, we cover you with the blood. 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 The name of Jesus. Broad daylight. In the church we used to pastor in Africa before we moved to Europe. I was told this story after we had left. One of the sisters, my brother, when herself and her husband had come back to Africa from UK, I was on who followed them up as their marriage was growing. We were having a few, few challenges. One day broad daylight, I'm robbers on the street right in front of the church. They turned the bomb gun at her. And she would not be afraid. The guy shot. Nothing came out. Shot, shot, shot. Nothing came out. Shut up. Boa. Shut, shut, shut. Nothing came out. I promise I on you. They will not see you. They will not touch you. No weapon formed against you. I'm told, <laughs> the name is Mr. and Mrs. Aaron. I think they need to live in New Jersey now. Ah, I lay hand on you. Weapons of darkness will not see you. Arrows of darkness will not see you. Every devil who has attempted your life, the arrows go back to them. The weapons go back on their life. The arrows go back on their life. The weapons go back on their life. Power covers you from this morning. Ah, you are exempted from premature death. You are exempted from cheap death. You are exempted from, from, from accidents on the roadside. In the name of Jesus. You are exempted from, from wrong identification. One of our precious, precious brothers. His mom is going to church. And Roberts just turned on the car, shot her at close range, and shot his brother. Only to find that they had shot the wrong person. The woman died. The boy, bullet tore his flesh. This woman is just a simple mother. Not, did not offend anyone. Wrong identity. Not your portion. Not your portion. In the name of Jesus, I speak into your life today. All hidden evil covenants of premature death are canceled by the blood. You are living long. You are living strong. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone trying to stop your destiny, they will see you. Hand of God on you. Grace of God on you. Hand of God on you. Here, 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 here. Let every arrow of premature death fire at you in your dream. I command it to leave your body. You will live long. You will live strong. In the name of Jesus. Mabo, Jubra, Yeka, Yebo. Your body is too hot. Your mind is too hot. Your spirit is too hot. Your life is too hot for the hand of the enemy. They will not be able to mess with you. Your destiny is too big, too hot for them to handle. Too hot to handle. Too big to handle. Too great to handle. Too tough to handle. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I release grace upon you today. Power upon you today. In the name of Jesus. Your plan, the plan and purpose of God, for there is a plan to your life. And there is a purpose 
to your life. It shall be completed. It shall be finished. It shall be completed. It shall be finished. That plan, that destiny, that plan, that destiny shall be completed, shall be finished, shall be completed, shall be finished. Labido Shika, Yinedo Kaba, that plan, that assignment shall be completed, shall be finished. What God have already marked your life to be. Nadi Zonga Patilere Rasha, Hirielaraba, Rike Robozia, Hirienderebo, you will testify of it. I declare again, you will testify. You will testify. Yareka, Rebozi, Ramande, Prokoshka. You will be a testimony. People will hear your story and they will want to connect with you. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Ah, in the name of Jesus, there is a living long in your life. There is a staying long in your life. This morning, we redeem you from the power of the grave. We also redeem you from what kills people prematurely. We redeem you from poverty. In the name of Jesus. We redeem you from lack. In the name of Jesus. We redeem you from quick degradation of life. In the name of Jesus. We redeem you from attack of your spirit, your soul, that makes your mind prematurely to just die in the name of Jesus we redeem you this morning from the pathway of death from the pathway of death we redeem you this morning from the pathway of death in the name of Jesus you are released from the bondage of fear the Bible says fear has torment fear has torment we release you from the bondage of fear. We command your body to receive life in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Sometimes they say, ah, it was too much thinking that killed her. She just, it was too much burden, too much trouble. Things around her, she didn't even know. Sometimes she walked into cars. Ah, I lay hand on you today. Every care, every worry, we take it off your shoulder. We lay it on the Lord. We take it off your shoulder. We lay it on the Lord. We take those burdens. We lay it on the Lord. We take those challenges. We lay it on the Lord. This morning, I prophesy on somebody. From today, you will begin to see solutions. See solutions. Receive solutions. See solutions. This season of fasting and praying, I declare and decree into your life, you begin to hear solutions. 17-year problem. It's about to be resolved. Issues that have been for 10 years about to be resolved. Challenges you handled for five, six years. Resolved, resolved, resolved. That legal battle that have gone on and on and on. Wasting your life, wasting your money. We bring an end to it. Holy Nosha. Ikabaro Sekiaba. Riko Talireba Kosha. Zalimo Kuriki de Barindi, Rizo, Noja, Jika, Rambro, Zaloji, Rikeba, Rononzi, Caviari, Cabaroja, Marireja, Hikarao. All your cares we lay it on the Lord this morning. Those legal battles, we speak your victory. We speak your testimony. We speak your victory. We speak your testimony. I see a revelation of a man or woman whose money is stuck somewhere and it has made you to lose weight. You've lost weight. You are unhappy. You can't eat well. Your life is even a fast before we declare the fast. <laughs> oh, let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. I call your money in. 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 Ta to hikida hidara abato marate hiraya hebra tosha hinta hampre tose kepra tosha yabra kose kepro tosi tapra he to ma ke ta he ho ha pra tose hayaroshi kalindi. Thank you, Jesus. This one I prophesy on you. You have a glorious divine inheritance walking inside you. Glorious divine inheritance. 
the greater one lives in you. Ah! Nababa, Nerosha, you have a glorious inheritance. You have a glorious inheritance. You have a glorious inheritance. Your family has a glorious inheritance. In the name of Jesus. 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 You have a glorious inheritance. That's your portion. Then there are people who are alive and they are dead. For they are wasting away. Ah, I took authority this morning. Your life will not be wasted. Your time will not be wasted. Your life will not be wasted. Your time will not be wasted. Your life will not be wasted. Your time will not be wasted. Your life will not be wasted. Your time will not be wasted. People who are alive. They just sit down looking into the horizon. Morning, noon, and night. They wake up, they eat breakfast, eat lunch, eat dinner. In fact, they are the ones who eat more. Have you noticed? <laughs> Most people who are really wealthy stay small and try to exercise because they want to live long. Sometimes people who live sedate life, the only joy is probably food. Ah, forgive my English this morning. It sounds very strong, but that's the truth. So I lay hand on you this morning. You will, be, you will not be wasted. Your years will not be wasted. Your time will not be wasted. Your destiny will not be wasted. Health is coming to you. Strength is coming to you. Victory is coming to you. In the name of Jesus. Arabosha. Alabarendo. Rigerebanda. Rikerosha. Hirabababa. Rikodorabake. Zalere Mareda. Marero Rosha. Merigerababa. Narodora. Anything that's trying to hurry you out of life, we stop it by the hand of the Lord. Any spirit, any statement, anybody who is trying to hurry you out of this world, ah, we declare, no way in the name of Jesus. You are living long. You are living strong. You are living long. You are living strong. You are living long. You are living strong. Your years will not be wasted. I declare again, fulfilled life, fulfilled years, fulfilled life, fulfilled years. In Jesus' name. Some people also, they are alive. But their voice is only for weeping. Every day they cry and cry. Look at my life. Look at my life. Look at my life. They don't have a voice of rejoicing. They have no voice of singing. They have a voice of regret. Today, in the name that is above all name. Ah, every sound of crying, every sound, every dirge of crying, every, you, every, every elegy of crying in your house, we cancel by the blood. We nullify by the blood. I lay hand on you today. I declare into your life, long life, long life. The sound of joy is what we hear in the assembly of the righteous. This is your portion. The sound of rejoicing is what we hear in the assembly of the righteous. The sound of joy is what we hear in the assembly of the righteous. They shall hear the sound of joy in your house. They shall hear the sound of joy in your house. Ah! I stop the voice of weeping. Ah! I stop the voice of crying and crying. I release you to the atmosphere of celebration, singing, celebration, rejoicing, singing, celebration, rejoicing, singing, celebration, rejoicing in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and take you out of troubles. Ah, some people is from trouble to trouble. This day the Lord will trouble that trouble. 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 The Lord will trouble the trouble. The Lord will trouble the trouble. The Lord will trouble the trouble. In the name of Jesus. I see a person. The very thing that was meant to be a blessing has become the reason you cannot sleep. I don't know what it is. It could be your business. It could be something God gave you. Now you can't sleep because of this thing. Ah, I lay hand on it this morning. 
it transforms to become your source of joy. It transforms to become the source of your celebration. Business transforms to become the source of joy. Marriage transforms to become the source of joy. Your children transform to become the source of joy. Your work transforms to become the source of joy. Your connections transform to become the source of joy. The things God gave you, wanting to now age you. Some people, their children that are aging them, suddenly the child just forgot the midnight cries of, and, the, and the sleepless night of the mother. Now treats the mother like nothing. I release you from today. I speak peace. You will not die young. And no child will kill you. In the name of Jesus. Riku Talaba Nai Ando Mbia Onte Shkaba Preso Riki Taku Bragos Yeraba Yenota Brakosha Yareke Anywhere they went with your name, with your destiny. Anywhere they went with your life to release arrows of darkness. Today upon this altar I prophesy, the arrows turn around. They return to the sender in the name of Jesus. The arrows ricochet and turn and go back to the sender in the name of Jesus. 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 Somebody is on the altar today. Storms are raging around you. They are raging. Ooh, the water looks like it's going to swallow you. And the, and, and the disciples of Jesus screamed, Master, carry us thou not that we perish. This morning, every raging storm. Every raging storm that is threatening your life. I curse the storm. I rebuke the storm. I curse the storm. I rebuke the storm. I curse the storm. I rebuke the storm. Nalaba. The storm inside your house, I rebuke the storm. The storm at work, I rebuke the storm. The storm of relationships, I rebuke the storm. The storm in your business, I rebuke the storm. The storm of people who are attacking you, I rebuke the storm. The storm of from government, I rebuke the storm. Every storm raging, every storm raging, every storm raging. Be still! Be still. Ah, I know the power of storm once. Traveled from Brussels. No, no, from, I think it's, uh, uh, is it Antwerp? I'm trying to remember. It's something like either Antwerp. There's a connection from Belgium to UK by waters. Ah, it's, it's not Antwerp. It sounds like Bruges. Yeah, I think it's Bruges. From Bruges to Harrick, to Harrick. Harrick is our own seaport where you can take a ferry from Belgium to Britain. From Bruges to Harrick, the waters went rough. Gee, the waters went rough. You were looking for vomit and you couldn't vomit. Can you believe? The other day I even thought about the 41 years I've never vomited. Ah, oh, but that day I was close. I've never vomited in like 41 years. Never. Never. That day, the water was rough. Ah, the water was rough. Today upon this altar, I prophesy into your life. Every raging storm, God lifts you above it. Every raging storm, God lifts you above it. God lifts you above it. God gives you full victory. God gives you full testimony. Every raging storm, Every storm that have threatened your life, wherever it is coming from, whoever is tearing the storm, let the storm turn back on them. Out of the storm, you will come out with testimony. Jesus came into the storm in the life of the apostles and he rebuked the wind and there was great calm. And there was great calm. And there was great calm in your life. And there was great calm 
in your business. And there was great calm. The things that threaten your testimony, and there was great calm. The thing that testimony, the work of God in your life, and there was great calm. The thing that threatened the integrity of your destiny, and there was great calm. The thing that said it would take your life and you will die before your time. Cash you can be in Ozukahita Liriba. And there was great calm. The thing that vowed that until you die, it will not stop. And there was great calm. Ah, Nehota Yidaba. Finally, also, God, arise, cast your fury upon every agent of affliction, troubling anyone on this platform. Every agent of affliction troubling you be free every agent of affliction some people the agent of affliction is sickness loose in the name of jesus some people the agent of affliction is poverty and lack how can the sons and daughters of a of a great awesome wealthy god not, god is not even wealthy how do we describe god we can't say wealthy you have to acquire wealth god doesn't god owns all things he owns the cattle upon a thousand hills and the hills on which they stand Sometimes when we read the scripture that says he owns the cattle upon a thousand hills, we don't even realize that some hills are wealthier than the cattle that stood on top of them. For inside some hills is a whole treasure of gold, diamond, silver, beryl, and other stones. Everything that have risen in affliction, agents of affliction, their power is broken. Agents of trouble, their power is broken. Agents of affliction, their power is broken. Agents of trouble, their power is broken. Agents of affliction, their power is broken. Now, he troke apa, he kararosa, he karikarikosa, he ratakatata. The way of the agent of affliction shall be slippery. The way of oppressors shall be slippery. Victory will be yours. Favor will be yours. Testimony will be yours. Glory will be yours. Blessing will be yours. Lay hand on this this morning. I prophesy a divine turnaround. A divine turnaround. A divine turnaround. A divine turnaround. Ngakoshinga. Gerendera. Meren Turose, Talere Bokosha, Yere Macabareta, Abacoro Tereke, Cabarete Gozonga, Ramonta, Baronte, Geronta, Reconte, Baronte, Shalonde, Marende, Ralosa, Chiaro, Caribra. Everyone who have written their dreams, their aspirations, their visions, we agree with you, they become reality. 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 It's your turn to testify. It's your turn to magnify Jesus. It's your turn to testify. It's your turn to magnify Jesus. It's your turn to testify. It's your turn to see healing, to see victory, to see joy, to see open doors in the name of Jesus, to see deliverance. To see business ideas becoming reality. In the name of Jesus. To see success in your marriage. To see business fulfillment. To see God's hand on your siblings. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your testimony is on the way. This morning upon this altar I prophesy. You will live long and live strong. You will be a testimony to your generation. You will not die but live to declare the glory of God. I speak to everybody who's hearing me this morning. I make this confession on your behalf that because God has started a good work in you, he who started it will complete it. I declare into your life today, prosperity follow you. Your steps will be ordered of the Lord. As you follow God's instruction and leading, I speak into your life today, Ah, you are totally and unquestionably free. Free from bondages, free from sicknesses, free from diseases. You are liberated from the shackles of stagnation and limitation. Kakabo! From today, as you stand firm, you will not yield to trouble. You will not yield to battles. As you conduct yourself in greatness, you will be a blessing. 
Ah, in the name of Jesus, out of you will comfort a great nation. I lay hand on your family. They shall become a great nation. Everything that comes of you shall become a great nation. Everything that comes of you shall become a great nation. Everything that comes of you shall become a great nation. You possess more than enough. More than enough to carry out your dreams and vision. Every dream that God plays on your heart, no matter how big, it shall become reality. You will be a kingdom billionaire. Supporting kingdom projects in the name of Jesus. Wealth and increase will be in your house. Righteousness will be with you. Hidden riches of secret places will come to you. Your gate will be opened continually. Your gate will open continually. In Bible time, they shut the gate of Jerusalem and only opened it by 6 a.m. And then they shut it by 6 p.m. 6 a.m., 6 p.m. But in your own case, no more shutting. The gates are open. The gates are open. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Be lifted up, ye everlasting doors. Let the King of glory come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. The doors of your blessings are open. Ah, continually, your gates are open. No limitation, no setback. Nothing broken, nothing spoiled. Everything stopping favor and divine assistance from your life is removed in the name of Jesus. There is a free flow of goodness in your life. Receive wealth of nations. Receive gift of men. Receive direction. Receive knowledge of knowing what to do. Everything you set out to do this week, this month, this year shall be successful. You will enjoy unquestionable free goodness of God. So shall it be. Ah, people will join you to celebrate. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Tonight is going to be so powerful. It's a night of evening glow. When we will use other people's testimony to strengthen you and your testimony to strengthen them. So please send in your testimony. Send in your testimony. Send in recorded. That's fine. Written. That's fine. The number is on the screen. It's a, it's a WhatsApp number. So don't worry about, oh my God, uh, a lot of data. Hey, bro, God provided the data. He'll provide more. Don't be so worried about Penny pennies to pay for data to send a testimony. Let your testimony shake somebody. So there are some testimonies that we have, we have shared during mo morning and evening glow that are so powerful. I can still remember some. Every time my mind goes to a nation, a, a nation like Canada and a city like Vancouver, I remember the lady was in Vancouver or Winnipeg. She lost documents. It fell from her car in a car park. She went back and she came to Morning Glow. Went back the following day. He was there untouched. Amazing. This is our God. This is our God. He will do a miracle in your life. So join us tonight. It's going to be great from 7 to 8. And it's going to be so powerful. So powerful tonight. Send in your testimonies. Written. Send it in. Send it in. We'll put it on the screen, share it with other people. We'll, you can put your initial. If you don't want to put your full name, please, that's fine. Put your initial. Put your initial. Let your testimony glorify God, lift up God. Let it point at God as the one who did it. Pastor Matthew didn't do it. You can make reference. Oh, when I was a morning glow, when Pastor Matthew broke, that's fine. But all the glory goes to Jesus, all the honor. We do not deserve one microcosm of the thanks. It is him who did it. Let's write our testimonies. Let's send it in. If you are emailing, send it to admin at krcc.org.uk. Admin at krcc.org.uk. Let's share your testimony tonight. Let somebody be encouraged. There's something about God's stories. They lift your spirit. Praise the Lord. International Gathering of Champions is around the corner. Make sure you register. If you have not yet done so, you will be blessed. This weekend will be so powerful because in the Bible study, I'll be sharing David Business School. David Business School. 
David Business School. And uh, I mean, the life class, David Business School. Ten major things we learned from the life of David that made him stand out, be an achiever, be a success. It is important for you to know how to connect to what makes you successful in these last days. Uh, we shouldn't just be hearing unbelievers succeeding, prospering. The time has come for believers to prosper. Then the 11 a.m. service is going to be something else. The title, because it is Father's Day, I'm preaching the title, title, Man or Woman on a Mission. Man, Woman on a Mission. You're on a mission. When a man is on a mission, things happen. You know, I'm a man of 8, 10, 6, 5, 14, 21, 44. I think in structures, I think in structures and numbers so that I leave you with things to hold. So we'll be looking at man on a mission. There are some amazing things you find with a man on a mission. It is going to bless you. Then Sunday night will be powerful because it is pure fire. Pure fire night. 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 Join us for pure fire on Sunday night. Praise the Lord. Christ's compassion to the rural world. We're moving on. We'll give you more details. We'll show you more. We'll, we'll do a, 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 a full-blown information. Many of you have been cringing, cringing, cringing for the place to drop your monies. We're still working on getting the kind of platform that will make you to be able to sow from wherever in the world because this crusade is going to be huge. Just the grains to distribute, I don't even know how many hundreds of thousands of dollars. Because if you want to be giving 50,000 people uh, food, clothing, food, clothing, and grains, and all kinds of equipment every day from Tuesday to Friday, it, that's huge. And then on the Saturday, the whole of the stadium will be converted to a hospital. Ish. I've just spoken to a surgeon who will be putting together about 20 surgeons. And the surgeons will be working on from Monday to Friday in a hospital which I take over in town to do all the surgeries. To do all the surgeries. Once we begin to make noise in the town, I know that we're going to have like a thousand people who need surgery. We just register them and prioritize the ones we can do. It's going to be a huge one. Our, our crusade is holding at the meeting point of two cities. So we'll have to see two monarchs. We've seen one last week, Thursday. We've seen uh, another monarch this week. Uh, pray for us, for wisdom, in managing these monarchs and their chiefs. But they've given us support. Really, really strong support. In fact, this second monarch is a Muslim. It's where the stadium is. We believe God for grace and favor. We believe God for blessing. We believe God that God will grace us in his presence. And uh, we'll push the charitable thing we want to do, blessing the people, giving clothes, giving food, giving soccer, giving to hundreds of thousands, giving children. Ah, it's going to be awesome. It is going to be absolutely awesome. So keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. We will announce the platforms. We may give you the platform for sowing the currency of the nation, which we already have. But the one which is global is the one we're still working on. And we believe it's going to be awesome. Praise the Lord. For unto this end have I been called, and my heart is so committed that it is going to be so great. Praise the Lord. Remember also Whole Street on Sunday, the big one in Whole Street on Sunday. Enjoy the blessings of being there, the power of God, the grace of God, the life of God, the hand of God, the glory of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Don't be a secret believer. Be the person who truly shares Jesus with other people. And uh, by that we mean you need to be able to be part of those who are doing 100 by... I mean, 10 by 100. From June 1 to September 8, from June 1 to September 8, is 100 days. 
We want you to be part of those who really reach out to their friends, reach out to people, bring them to Christ, share Jesus with them, and uh, encourage them about Christ. Very, very, very important. Bring them to morning glow. Bring them to evening glow. Bring them to Bible study. Bring them to the services. He that winneth souls is wise. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. May this God of wonders do his wonders in this season of fasting and praying. May the heavens open on you in the name of Jesus. And as we share tonight, may you truly, truly experience the grace of God. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you richly. Dios te bendiga. Dios te bensoy. Buana kubariki. Onyamishra. Onyamishra wai. Mwariba kuro kumbrere ni wamuzita ra yesu. Nkulu nkulu. Agu says. God bless you. Saubona. Good morning.